I prefer, prefer to advise you of the views of one of Australia's leading jurists, Terence Cole, a former judge on the New South Wales Court of Appeal, who presided over two royal commissions. He's made a submission to the Joint Parliamentary Committee on The Voice, the same commission, I might add, which sought to deny a voice to Tony Abbott. I should point out that when Tony Abbott made his submission to that parliamentary committee, and I'll look at this later, he requested that he appear in person to speak to the committee about his submission. The Labor majority on the committee refused to allow him in, prompting Tony Abbott to ask, what's the government afraid of? Quote, I quote Tony Abbott, is it worried that someone who knows how government works would explain how the voice's constitutional right to make representations to everyone about everything could paralyse government, unquote. He asked Tony Abbott, quote, is it concerned that government members of the committee might be challenged about how the government intends to have members of the voice chosen by election or selection or by heredity? By the way, note the word heredity. It's on your screen there, H-E-R-E-D-I-T-Y. That's not hereditary. Heredity is something bestowed, a bestowed inheritance, as opposed to hereditary, which one person passes on to their children. Tony Abbott further added, and I quote, is the government concerned that the more people know about the voice, the more anxious that voters might be to sign a blank check for radical change, unquote. Former Prime Minister Abbott said, it is a scandal that people with relevant expertise aren't given every chance to address the inquiry, Never before have we been frog marched into changing the constitution like this, unquote. Well, yesterday morning, the committee apparently held a private meeting and backpedalled. Tony Abbott gave evidence. He was outstanding. But back to Terence Cole, who rightly said in his submission, the former judge and the former head of two royal commissions, that the voice, as Lydia Thorpe has argued, is one part of the broader program of the Uluru Statement from the heart, which calls for a treaty, this is Judge Terence Cole, and truth telling, as well as a voice to the parliament. All of which, as he says, the Albanese government has accepted in its entirety. Wrote the former Judge Terence Cole, quote, the voice is critical to the objectives made clear in the Uluru Statement, that Aboriginals wish to establish sovereignty over Australian territory, ownership of Australian land and surrounding waters, monetary and other compensation, and truth telling." Unquote. As the former Royal Commission judge, Terence Cole, then argued, quote, a Makarata, which is truth telling, a Makarata Commission would look backwards, trawling over events, legislation, policies, and administrative actions over the past 225 years to discover areas of discontent in the minds of present living Aboriginals and to award compensation, unquote. The former judge, Terence Cole, hit the nail on the head when he said that, quote, Australians need to understand that the voice will be used to support the demands of recognition of coexisting sovereignty. Our New Zealand viewers know what this is about. They've got it over there. Coexisting sovereignty, thanks to Ardern, that's what he said, the demands for recognition, Terence Cole, of coexisting sovereignty, a Makarata Commission designed to, these are the words of Terence Cole, produce a treaty and monetary compensation and a rewriting of Australian history, unquote. For goodness sake, Australia, can we wake up? The no case needs to get its act together. Stop the fragmentation.